assalamu alaikum friends uh, in this video we shall discuss a very important t code in materials management which is uh, migo migo and uh, uh, principally we are going to display a gr uh, in the last two videos we have reviewed or displayed a pr purchase requisition and then a purchase order and in this video we shall principally be reviewing uh, goods receipt but migo is such an extensive T code that it is used in materials management for a variety of purposes. So this is a very rich T code. I will leave it uh, on you people to locate this T code in the easy access menu. Uh, it is uh, located in easy access menu at more than one branches. So you can locate it yourself. This is a small exercise for you. And we go to the Miko T code. <coughs> So first of all, again, to make sense of uh, the screen parts, uh, on the left hand part, we have the overview, uh, overview menu, which we can hide or show the overview. Uh, it uh, usually contains the list of all the documents which we have executed or we have accessed. So let's hide it. Uh, again, uh, in the main screen, we have, first of all, some selectors some drop downs so for what we can use this t code we can see over here in the first drop down we can execute a good receipt so we can make a gr here we can display some materials document here we can execute a goods issue here and there are a variety of some other transactions which can be executed here and then uh, if we keep it on display because this is what we are interested in at this point of time then we can see the material document here. So the material do a material document can be any document which documents the movement of inventory, either goods issue or goods receipt. And then we can actually mention the material document number here. Uh, unlike uh, purchase order and purchase requisition where the search icon was given here, uh, in the materials document, we cannot search right away from this field. Uh, this is the year concern. So if we want to search, we can actually we have to go to the fine material document from here so if we want if we know the material document we can type it here uh, and we need to type the year of the material document as well and then we can execute it from here but if we don't know a material document number we can search the material document from here so we are here in searching for a material document and uh, remember that a material document is a document which uh, documents the movement of inventory so by definition a purchase requisition is not a material document a purchase order is not a material document but goods receipt and goods issues are actually material documents so we can have a variety of criteria here we can search look for material documents per plant for a particular material for a particular vendor and of our particular movement type which we have not discussed at length and if we keep all the things blank we shall have a list of all the material documents so let's try it without uh, let's uh, remove any cap if it is there so apparently there is no cap so let's execute so it gives us a warning to let's recover selection let's go without uh, refining the uh, selection and we can see that uh, the list is by default uh, um, actually sorted on material and then material description and then plants and we have many material documents here if you want to sort the list for add material documents so let's sort the list for on material documents so i select it and then i press sort so here the sorting is a bit different so now the list has been sorted on material documents so you can see there are many 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 material documents uh, and it is difficult to uh, have a count of it and even the count is not shown towards the end of the report because this is a different type of search okay friends so uh, now uh, we have to it was uh, this way so uh, there are a variety of things which we can do with this list we can sort we can filter we can uh, actually 
minimize uh, remove some of the columns or we can uh, add some columns over here so this is itself a list uh, a report uh, although it is not within the, uh, a good reporting tool uh, in SAP but it is itself can serve as a report as well so now if I want to see for example this particular material document and by the way since this the next one is blank it means the same document number repeats here so the system keeps it blank it means it, it belongs to the same document number so I select it and I have to select it from here as adopt. As soon as I adopt, it will be shown in my overview list. So if I now show overview, which was hidden, I can see this document here. So I no longer want this list now. So I have to close it. So I just repeat, keep in mind that uh, this particular search won't work by double clicking. If we double click it, the system won't take us to this particular document. So we have to just select it. We have to adopt from it over here. So from here, we can adopt it. And then after adopting, it is no longer required. So we just close it, the search result. And we see that the document number has been copied here. We press enter and we can actually see all the details of this document. So again, uh, this is the header data, the first part of the screen, and the second part of the screen, and the third part of the screen. So for the second part of the screen, there is no collapse button. The item overview should have a collapse cycle, but there is not there. And then the item detail is already collapsed. So again, three parts of the screen are there. In the header, uh, let's see, uh, some of the important things are the document date and the posting date. So we can see the details of the vendor here. And uh, we can see uh, the document info. So who has entered this document? who has created this document on which date and uh, what was the relevant decode. And if you want to see the corresponding financial accounting document, because when goods are actually uh, recorded, goods receipt is executed, we have a corresponding entry uh, as to inventory, debit, and uh, some account credit, GRIR account credit. So if you, if you want to see this, that particular document, we can call the FI document here and there are two FI documents so let's call the first one the accounting document uh, and you see that uh, this is the different accounts debit and credit so inventory of raw material has been debited corresponding year IR account has been credited and then inventory of trading goods TG has been debited and corresponding year IR account has been credited the same entry that we studied theoretically let's go back so let's close it and we are again on the GR so uh, the three important tabs are the general vendor and document information here and then within the item overview we can see the two items and we can see all the details of the two items over here so for example the item uh, this is the storage location of the item and of course when the storage location is there so plant is also there so as we have studies storage location is the exact physical space within the plant so this is the, of the off-road helmet and there are two items here so there is a first line item as well so this is steering bike and this is off-road helmet and then within the detailed data so for example uh, detailed data again will be item wise so this is the detailed data for uh, probably one of the two items and so this is line item number one if you want to go for the, for the next one this is the line item number two so line item number two is actually for the Miami plant and uh, it was uh, let's see some of the details in line item number two the material is actually off-road helmet the quantity received is 100 and where it has been received it is received in the storage location trading goods which is TG00 plant Miami MI00 and this is the relevant purchase order data of the item so this was a purchase order number and this was the item number within the purchase order and uh, we don't uh, actually want to see the account assignment. So these four tabs are important for us. Let's review them for the item number one. So go to item number one. And again, this is the purchase order of the item number one. Same purchase order. So a GR can be made for two different purchase orders. Uh, but uh, it is the same purchase order. Sometimes collective GR made uh, for the same vendor for two, one or more than one purchase orders. So this is a different Dallas plant uh, and different storage location. And this is the quantity and this is the material data so the important thing is that uh, within the GR we can see actually the purchase order data and from the purchase order we can see uh, the invoice data as well so this is uh, 
So to sum up uh, this video, uh, uh, first of all, recall that uh, this particular transaction can be used for a variety of purposes. We have to set it to display here. And then in the display, the only option available is the material document. If you know the material document number, enter it straight away from here, or you can look for material documents here. And once you go for a searching of material document, there are a variety of criteria. And keep in mind that once you execute this report for any given criteria, uh, there might be some warning messages to overwrite. And uh, then there are a variety of things uh, which you can do with this list. But once you select any one purchase material document, you have to adopt it from here. And it won't lead you directly to that particular display, but you have to, after adopting, you have to uh, show the overview over here. And then within the material document, you will find the one which has been adopted from here. Then you close this list and then you double click this particular document number to display it. And then within the document, we have uh, again three parts. The first is the header data. The three important tabs are general, vendor, and document info within the document info. We can see the financial accounting document, financial accounting entry as well. Then there is the uh, document overview, which contains the details of all the materials received and their relevant purchase order numbers. And then within the uh, item detail list, we can actually see the details of item along with the purchase order data. So hope uh, this is uh, clear. Thank you.